All right, what's up everybody? Local fisherman here. Here's another video, something that I've been wanting to do. As you can tell in the background, my grill's missing off my truck. It's gone. So what I'm working on today, we're gonna paint that grill black. I tried plasti dipping it. I didn't like the way it turned out. It was ugly. It didn't stick well. Uh, that was probably my fault though. The, the prep wasn't that good. So today we're going to work on getting this plastic grill prepped and then we're going to do some adhesion promoter and then we're going to prime it. And then part two of this video will be the actual painting process. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so here you have it. This is the grill. I went ahead and separated the chrome piece from the, blast, the black plastic piece. I'm only going to paint the chrome section. I'm not going to paint the whole thing. You can see. Just quite a few clips. It all comes off fairly easy. Uh, it does take a little bit of elbow grease and some luck, and you'll get it. Oh, and uh, Luke, he's here. He's decided to uh, come and join us. Say what's up, Luke. All right, Luke, calm down. Okay, so let's see what we need to do to get this thing prepped. First thing you want to do actually is get you good. Um, Cleaning from sponge, something you can use for cleaning the dishes. Get you some good soap and clean it as best you can. And use a microfiber rag, dry it, let it sit for a little bit, get all the water off. Don't try and sand this thing when there's water or any sort of dirt or anything on it because you don't want to introduce any dirt into the paint. Um, I don't know if you can even see it, but it's a, no, probably not. It's a little bit scuffed up from the cleaning sponge, but we're going to uh, really scuff it up here with the Scotch Brite. And to do that, you just want to give this a half, give it a half fold, or you can cut it in half if you really want to. And we're going to start back and forth on the whole grill. See, I just barely lightly did that, and it's already scuffed it up. So we, re the important thing here is to scuff it up well enough to where paint and every and the primer can adhere to this, no problem. So uh, on the video, I'm going to just kind of demonstrate how you prime this how you use the adhesion promoter, how you scuff this thing up, and of course the final process will be painting and clearing. Now there is a lot of wait time involved, so every coat, uh, every little bit of the process does take some time, so main thing is to be very patient with this. Don't load it full of paint, don't load it full of clear, you know, don't put your primer on too wet, things like that, because then you're gonna have to sand it. Uh, the main thing with the primer actually is just to give it a good cover so the paint will adhere to everything. And then an adhesion promoter is for the primer uh, to cling right, on so to Just this as a quick better. comparison, this part hasn't been sanded yet. It's kind of hard to see, but you can see where there's been some rubbing and water staining going on from where it sits on the hood. But over here, I've already used the Scotch Brite on this part. It almost looks like brushed aluminum now, which is actually kind of a cool look. So that's the difference that you want to see. You want to, I know it's, it's plastic, so you can't really get rid of the uh, shiny, but you want to make the, sh the clear go away so you can't see your reflection. So if it's enough to, you can't see your reflection, you're good. So we got to do the entire grill like that. And you also want to make sure you do this edge too, because I'm going to actually be priming and painting the back side of this grill too. Um, not a full coat, but I want enough paint to be here so that when, if I ever have any peeling on the edge, I don't have to worry about it peeling off the sharp edge. I want paint on the, then the inside of the edge, I should say, so that paint is over here and over here. So that will help the paint stick because it'll have it won't have like a defined edge. It'll just be kind of like a you know a spot for the paint to stick to. Okay, guys, got this thing scuffed up. Kind of shiny still, but I think it's scuffed enough. So all we need to do is clean this off real quick, and then we're going to apply some adhesion promoter. It's getting kind of dark on me, so I might have to move to the garage and try to get, get at least a couple of coats of primer on this thing tonight let it dry and then tomorrow we'll continue do some adhesion promoter on this guy uh, this is the one I'm using just stupid color plastic adhesion promoter I did it for uh, 
about 10 bucks at AutoZone. That's the part number, right? They're not AutoZone, O'Reilly's. CP199. The instructions say to do two to three light coats over the area you're going to be painting or priming. So I like these type of tips that they use. Uh, they have a really good spray pattern. So we're going to do this fairly quickly before we lose daylight here. So here we go. All right guys, so I went ahead and just moved underneath my carport here to get some light, see what I can see what I'm doing. I got the grill prepped or propped up off the table with a couple of soda cans. Uh, we just got done doing the adhesion promoter. Now we're moving on to the primer. So this one is black because I'm painting the grill black. It would keep me from showing scratches and things like that or rock chips. Uh, part number DAP1698, black hot rod. Uh, next thing is to just gotta go over this real quick with the tack cloth. They sell this one at O'Reilly's too. It only costs a couple of bucks. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get ready to prime this thing. As always, do like a little test coat so you know what you're doing. Uh, again, it has the uh, nice uh, nozzle that I like. So we're gonna go ahead and give this thing a decent uh, first coat. Nothing too heavy, uh, really. We're just trying to give it a cover. Uh, so we'll give the primer something to cling it onto itself. Uh, we're getting a little bit of wind here, so I'm hoping this won't cause any problems. Um, grill's wobbling a little bit, so I might have to uh, move this into the garage if it gets too crazy. But uh, let's go ahead and get started. Make some room for myself here. So, edges. Oh, wind picked up. start kind of the top of the grill back and forth and we'll hit each sides the main thing is actually getting on the insides here because those are the tight corners so let's see here yeah that wind's gonna make it tough so let's get this done real quick and then we'll move inside all right y'all here's day two of the grill painting process we did uh, Three coats of primer on this guy came out pretty smooth even the back side did a little bit on the edges gives the paint something to cling on to or along, along the sides and stuff like that so next we're gonna use some gray scotch bright to prep this thing for paint uh, before you want to do any sanding on it we need to clean it one more time just to make sure we don't put any impurities into the paint. It's probably not a huge deal because is isn't, you know, going to be like a show car or nothing. But obviously you're spending the time and money on this. You want to do a good job. That's why I'm taking my time, giving this thing a full 24 hours plus to cure. So it's completely dry and ain't, you know, wet or nothing like that. So... I'm going to get some gray scotch bright, give this thing a good uh, scuffing, clean it, tack it, and then we're going to spray it with three to four coats of the base color of gray scotch bright here. Just basic stuff. You can buy this at any automotive store. Some sell it in individual pads, some you sell it as a three pack or so. Um, I did one of each. Probably should have done two of these and one of these. But uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, with this one, main thing you want to do is just give it a, a light scuffing. You don't need to uh, scratch it as bad as you did the first time around because we already have our primer down. Um, we just need to give something for, it, well, really it's just helping the new paint cling to the primer better. Um, any surface that you have that is smooth 
isn't going to be as porous for the paint to cling on to, um, if that makes sense. I may not even sound like I'm talking, uh, making sense, you know what I mean? But um, what, what we want to do is just give this, you know, a decent, decent scuff. You see the difference there. All over the grill. Main thing is to get inside the corners and the edges where the paint can peel easier. So focus on the insides here. The front face is going to be much easier to do, so I would do that last. So focus on the insides. Get that done. Don't forget the back edge and uh, the edges, of course, here too. Don't go too deep on those. You don't want to cut through the primer. Just enough to you know, scuff it, and then we'll be ready for our first coat of actual paint. All right, y'all. Got this primed up and scuffed. All we need to do now is do another cleaning. And uh, then we'll be ready to uh, coat after we hit it with our tack cloth. As you can see here, it's pretty tacky. Uh, even without it being cleaned, you can hit it and it gets rid of little dust particles and stuff that's on there. But we need to clean it first, get rid of the fingerprints and that sort of thing. Okay, we got it cleaned and tacked, ready for our first coat. Luke, calm down. Okay, he's good. Yeah, he's good. All right. Dupacolor perfect match. Where's the label out here? Dang, label's gone. Oh, it's on the, it's on the lid. So we're just using Universal Black. Part numbers are there in case you want to buy, buy this one. It's got the awesome uh, tip. I went ahead and just sprayed it real quick. See how it looks. Uh, it's a good idea to practice spray so you know what you're doing, just like with the primer and everything else. We're going to start on one end, just work our way back. First coat, we're only going to do a light misting, kind of semi-cover. Um, since it's already black, it's going to kind of blend real well, but um, you just want to make sure you get good, even coverage, 50-50. Uh, overlap, especially on the second and third coats, and then uh, it shouldn't go... Uh, too bad from there. So if you're nervous about doing this part, I'm nervous too. Uh, it's always good to practice on something that you have laying around if you really want to. Alrighty y'all. Just let the first coat finish curing up a little bit and uh, we're going to start our second coat here in a second. I wanted to give you guys a quick little piece of advice. See how the tip of this gets kind of dry and nasty? doesn't hurt to clean that before you start your next coat because it's been drying just like the paint that you just got done spraying so hit that with your fingernail clean it off the best you can tip the can upside down clear it you should be all right now as always practice coat oh yeah that guy spins so make sure it's facing up and down or else you're gonna be spraying all crooked. So, second coat, let's go. Actually, I'm gonna start on this side first. Can't really see what I'm doing because it's in the shadow, but it's all right. Let's go. Notice this one I'm doing a little bit wetter. All right, everybody, here is the final product. Finally got this grill installed, put back on the truck. You can see it looks decent but there are a few imperfections which isn't a huge deal for me uh, one thing that I noticed with this clear coat it's not super shiny or you know clear like you would expect on a regular paint job like the wheels for example that's like a shiny black and this is more like a matte or a satin 
So it's it's cool. I mean, it almost looks like factory like plastic, which is actually not a bad deal. Uh, it does have kind of a texture to it, uh, but it came out nice. I like it. So hopefully this video will help you guys decide whether to do this to your truck or act as a guide to get your truck done, you know, this way. So thanks for watching y'all. Don't forget to like and subscribe. As always, I do take prayer requests, so feel free to leave a comment below and we'll get in contact with each other. Anyways, you guys have an awesome day. 